last updated 8.36 the 14th of October 2018 Jason McCauley Thomas Luluai, the former Kiwis and NC Warriors star, has helped Wigan win the 2018 English Super League Grand Final. File photo. Rugby League former Kiwi Thomas Luluai has won his second Super League Grand Final crown, eight years after his first. Just hours after his former Kiwis teammates upset Australia in Auckland, the 33-year-old helped the Wigan Warriors get 12-4 win over Warrington in the 2018 Grand Final at Manchester United's Old Trafford ground on Saturday, Sunday NZ time. Lulu I, man of the match in Wigan's 2010 Grand Final win, forged a fine halves combination with George Williams as Wigan ground out a hard-earned victory in the final game for coach Sean Wayne and ex-New Zealand Warriors fullback Sam Tompkins. Warrington grabbed the lead in the 13th minute when wing Josh Charnley, who returned to rugby league in mid-season after a stint with English rugby union club Sale, scored in the corner after an offload by man of the match fullback Stefan Ratchford. Redmore, asterisk Lulu I clinches grand final berth asterisk Kiwis victory, just the start asterisk Kiwis pull off epic upset Wigan equalized in the 26th minute through wing Dominic Monfredi after Oliver Gildard darted through the Warrington defense. Lulu I's halves partner Williams set up Wigan's second try five minutes later with a deft kick for Sam Davies to score in the corner. Tompkins could not convert but Wigan led 8-4 at the break. Wayne's well-drilled team shut Warrington out in a second spell with suffocating defense. Wigan ensured Wayne, off to a high-performance role with the Scottish Rugby Union, Tompkins bound for the Catalans Dragons, and England second-row John Bateman, Canberra Raiders, departed as champions when Monfredi snared his second try in the 77th minute. Tompkins, who had earlier missed a long-range penalty attempt, floated a cutout pass to give Monfredi, playing only his fifth game after two years on the sidelines with injuries, space to score in the corner. Toby King seemed set to score late consolation for Warrington, but a video replay revealed he had fumbled the ball over the line. Wayne choked back the tears as he hailed his team's defensive effort against the champion Warrington team. Warrington coach Steve Price said Wiggins' defense was outstanding tonight. Former NZ Warrior Bodine Thompson and Auckland-born ex-NRL player Ben Murdoch Masilla were part of a Warrington team that suffered their second grand final defeat of the season after losing to the Catalans Dragons in the Challenge Cup final at Wembley in August. Stuff.